This tutorial will be aimed at a beginner level because it doesn't really build off of previous knowledge, but I'm still going to assume you know easing is, etc. <laughs> I think liquid is a good place to start. Obviously, it's more dense than air, so it's going to sink or fall. But what makes liquid special is that it has surface tension, meaning it has cohesive properties making it want to stick to other particles. This is why water forms rounded shapes, because it's always trying to minimize its surface area, and due to its low viscosity, it's able to. The more viscous the liquid, the more surface tension it has, so the stronger its hold to other particles will be. We should keep in mind that blood is thicker than water, and so blood will be able to hold weirder shapes for longer. The force of the splash will not be felt uniformly across the particles. As the water breaks up into droplets, you need to allow them to maintain their own path, and not fit them all to one x or y velocity. Another thing I see is when two droplets launch from the same point, one goes higher than the other, but they still hit the ground at the same time. Because they're experiencing the same gravity, they will lose velocity at the same rate. This means that one particle will peak and fall sooner than the other. Note that any splash is actually two splashes. Once when the mass displaces the water, and again once the water surface comes together and collides with itself. If the mass doesn't have to be solid either, water can cause splashes too. When the dust particles are kicked up, assuming their room temperature, they won't sink or float. They'll just continue to drift into other air particles and move with the air currents, if there are any. Unlike liquid, gas doesn't have surface tension, so it just spreads thinner and thinner until it can't be seen. Keep this in mind when you're animating your dust, as the dust parts you animate have no reason to stick together. So make sure the particles' paths aren't influenced by each other. The only thing I make different about the smoke and dust that I animate is that smoke rises due to its heat. It still has the same cohesion, and still disperses at a similar rate. Pop quiz! What's wrong with this animation? If you said that this animation ignored the pre-existing air particles between the cube and the smoke, you'd be right. A more realistic animation will look like this, with the cube pushing the air, which then pushes the smoke. Wait, let me clean my throat. <clears> there <throat> we go. So, as I was saying, fire moves similarly to smoke, but I like to give my fire more jagged shapes and more looseness with the consistency to emulate the flicker that it has. Fire generates its own air current due to the air being pulled up by rising smoke meaning larger columns of fire cause faster rising. Larger fires are also hotter as the rate at which oxygen is burned is higher, meaning these particles rise even faster. On either side of the fire, vary the shapes and sizes that are rising. Make sure when you animate a fire that you have parts cut into the shape as well as jut out from it, turning on and off onion skin to see the shapes and the movement. As the fire gets bigger, let the shapes vary more. Maybe give it a sway or make parts jut out suddenly. Anything to sell that it's more chaotic now that it's larger. And don't forget about the particles after they leave the main effect. I color my fire by first making it with rough shapes in orange, then filling with yellow. From here I make the yellow turn to orange as the fire rises. Then I add a very bright yellow to the areas of fuel burning inside the flame. Lightning is different to other particle effects, as it always has a start and an end. Because lightning isn't a mass, it's a charge carried between them. This means when I animate lightning, I always keep the direction of its flow consistent. With holding lightning, I use a mix of consistent and chaotic movement for the areas inside the arcs. I make my lightning flicker by moving the consistent parts, or by making the lightning take a different path for a frame, then come back to where it was previously. Obviously, all of this is personal preference, so like, uh, have fun with it, take on board whatever you want, pick and choose, it doesn't matter. Literally just like, find your own style, but, and, uh, and uh, keep, keep, uh, keep, uh, keep on, uh, keep on uh, animating. Uh.